This is what looks like. Uh, Gustavo Petro has been leading the polls uh, since at least two years. Uh, he is the front runner for sure for these elections. Um, it, it is uh, not not probable not probable that he's going to win on the first round. So there is probably going to be a second round, which means that he won't be able to reach uh, uh, Sunday 50 percent of the votes. Uh, the second round will be on the uh, 19th of June. Uh, but it definitely seems like uh, the candidate to beat. And this is really, really an historical event in Colombia, as this country has been run for 200 years by the same political class, the same political parties. Now, all these parties together, like um, liberals, conservatives, former President Uribe, and all the machinery, all the big political clan, are together to be trying to beat uh, Gustavo Petro and supporting uh, Fico Gutierrez, uh, another former major, major of Medellin, which could be uh, the second uh, candidate to reach uh, the second term. But there is also a wild card. Uh, the wild card is uh, Rodolfo Hernandez. He is 77 years old. Uh, he is running a campaign through social media. He's a populist and has never been uh, seen having a debate with the other candidates, which is something that the other candidates uh, are criticizing, saying that he doesn't have much to say. So for sure, there is going to be, uh, if there is going to be a second round, there will be Gustavo Petro against one of the two. Even uh, Ingrid Betancourt joined uh, Hernandez uh, in, uh, in these um, elections.